Hi guys, we've got Dave on the line. Uh, Dave, 4 0 against Stoke. I mean, what on earth went wrong today? Uh, just a torrid, torrid performance, wasn't it? Absolutely awful. Um, what went wrong? I think everything went wrong today. Yeah. We might have been better asking what went right because it was just an absolute shambles from start to finish. Mm. I mean, we're, 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 like you look at them three performances before this. And they seem to give us false hope again, don't they? Where we go to a Stoke side who've not won since we've restarted back from lockdown. And now we get absolutely... Not even blown off park, though. We've lost 4-0, but we, the, the calls we conceded, I mean, first three, absolutely shocking. It's, it's what we do, though, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we, we, Barnes, they give, us, they give us hope. They always do, and then they just snatch it away from you. Mm. And it was snatched away very, very early on today. I said in the match preview that we needed to come out the block, saw guns blazing. Yeah. But it, it looked like the players have been in the courthouse since you know, opening this morning. Mm. The, 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 the passing was dreadful. The defending yeah. was dreadful. It, it was just nothing at all. Mm. You know, we lost 4 0 to Stoke. We could have lost 4 0 to Hereford United today, the way we were playing, because it, there was just nothing there at all. Well, I think I'd really agree was... one of the commentators. I think it, I, oh, you might have had a different commentator to us, but. Um... He basically said we look like a conference team. That that's how I, bad it were. I had uh, Radio Sheffield on. Derek oh yeah, Parker yeah, yeah. Well, same as yeah. I think he yeah. said it then. He did. One of them said it that we looked at almost like a conference team, and quite right as well. I've seen conference football. I used to, obviously I used to live in the area, first so used to go watch them all the time, and yeah, I've seen a lot of conference football, and I've seen a lot of bet, better played football in the conference than what I saw today. Mm. It was I, there's just no words you can use to describe it really. Mm. Is, I mean, is the players in that pitch that shouldn't be near that starting eleven still? Is is that even though we've we, we've gone on this little run? Do you know what I mean? I, I mean, I was surprised to see Thomas in. To be fair, I thought we might have seen Styles come in. I don't rate Thomas. I really don't. Uh, at the start of the season, I I, I, I had a lot of a lot of good hopes for him, mm. and uh, I think it was the, the, the Derby game on New Year's Day, and it looked to me like he wanted to be on the opposition. You know, he's he's an old Derby boy, and it just looked to me like he wanted to be on the other side. Yeah. And his attitude was terrible. And the performances I've seen since then, he's just, he's just not showed anything. He, mm. he, at the start of the season, he, you know, he had some teased in, jinx in runs. He, you know, he, used to, he used to zip about the place. And now he just doesn't seem... I don't want to say he doesn't seem bothered, but he just doesn't seem to be able to do anything. He seems to have lost... He seems, he seems to be slow as well for like, for like a winger. But is he playing... I mean, position, positionally, we're playing in wrong position. I would say as well, playing inside. It, that, that's not his game. We've got so many players who are playing out of position. Do you know what I mean? I remember 10, 15 years ago, you would never have ever seen any player playing out of position at all. It was very rare compared to now where everybody just seems to play in any position that they get picked in. Uh, and even though it's clear for us as fans that it ain't working, for some reason, Struber seems to believe in it still. Again, it's it's another thing we do. We play people out of position. Mm. We've done it for years before Struber, before Stendhal. We've consistently played players out of position, mm. and it's I, I don't know. I was I was thinking back earlier when I used to go and watch them back in the late eighties, early nineties, and like you say, players had their positions. They played those positions. Yeah. And I used to go down to Brookwell, and I used to go, you know, go and expect for a a, a win, and more often than not, I got a win. Mm. And now it's I just got I've just got no confidence in well not in the current team anyway but you know even going back um, I can't remember the last time I actually thought I'm feeling pretty confident for this season mm. I'm feeling pretty confident we're gonna we're gonna do something I can't remember the last time that happened mm. well, and it's so so like maybe like, like what even last season uh, as well would you say. I'm talking about, about championships. Sort of. oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, it, it yes. seems to be the case, though, doesn't it? Whereas, like, this season, as much as we, we bigged us up before this season even started, I think all of us in back of our heads knew that we'd, we'd become a team full of young players who just weren't up mm. for this task. And, I mean, I've said to other lads as well now, at the, the next two games are vital, aren't they? They are massive games. They're massive games, but I... I just can't see. I just can't see us pulling it off now. Mm, you know, a lot, a lot of the, the bottom sides have got to play each other still. So there's it's a lot of football to be played. There's a lot of results that are going to, you know, shift the table around. But if we're going to come out and put out a performance like we did today, I just can't see us getting anything. 
No, and no. and, and uh, Queen's part. Go on, you'll finish what you were going to say, Dave, and then I'll mention what I was going to say. The, the QPR performance, the Millwall performance, they were both pretty, they were, they were mediocre at best, I think. Yeah. And the first half of Blackburn was exactly the same. The second half, when he made that substitution, completely changed the team. They played really well. And I was optimistic coming off the back of that, that last 35, 40 minutes Tuesday. I thought, against Stoke, it's, it's you know, put us in a sort of performance that, and we're going to be all right. But mm. it's, it's, it's the team that went off Tuesday is the complete opposite to the team that started today. Yeah, that's, you know, what, I mean, that's what I mean. That's we've praised the defence. We've praised yeah. the defence since we've come back from lockdown. And they've earned their praise. Ben Williams had a great game against Blackburn. I was watching it with the, the Black audio feed. And the commentators in there were absolutely praising him throughout the whole of the game. And he mm. did have, he made a couple of mistakes, but he, he tracked back well. And he, he, he made up for quite a few of those. But today, he's just, he's, he's been a completely different player. Yeah. Anderson was a completely different player. I mean, even even Walton, were, even Walton was scaring me at times today. I know he's still a young lad. Well, I mean, they're all young. We keep saying that they're all young players, but he was scaring me today. It just seemed to be it were right off. I mean, even first five minutes there, but nil nil, I could sort of feel the way it weren't going to be our day. Even at nil nil, weirdly enough. Well, it was the second goal. It was oh, the first goal. It was bad marking. All right, so like Luke said in his video, you just you, you draw a line under that, and you you you, you go again. But within a couple of minutes, we've let him in with a second goal, and then it was just completely soft. Yeah. You know that that the lack of communication between Walton and Anderson is just absolutely dreadful. Mm. And then a few minutes later, Walton's got the ball out on the right to clear it, and he completely scuffs his shot. He misses the ball completely, and has to put it out for a throw. And it's like, yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw, I remember that well. It, that 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 almost sums it up, doesn't it? That almost sums what you know. It's not your day. You know, it's not your day when that happens. You, yeah. It, yeah. Well, and lastly then, just before we go then, I mean, Queen's Park Rangers, Middlesbrough, well, Middlesbrough, Queen's Park Rangers tomorrow. I mean, Neil Warnock's obviously took over at uh, Borough, as we know. I mean, the loss to Wall City in week. We've got to be rooting for QPR here, really, haven't we? Nah. We have, but I just think results are really, they're just really strange at the moment. Mm. You know, you, you, I don't think you could predict any game. You, no, you really no. couldn't. I, you know, there's some, there's some strange, strange results going around. Um, obviously, in tomorrow's game, you've got the Warnock factor. I hope he fails this time. He's, he's due to have a relegation failure, so I'm really hoping it's this time. But even if he does and they accept into the bottom three, I just, I just still can't see us finishing above other teams. Mm. Maybe Luton. Luton have had a bad result today, really bad result. Mm. You know, and that, that, that's probably only positive for us. Is we're going into our game. They've they've been hammered as well, so it, it can be psychologically. Could play could play a factor in it. Well, everyone's lost today around, doesn't they? They've all, apart from Meadowsfield, who's drawn with um, Preston. Preston. Yeah, they've all had bad results, uh, especially Luton, who are our next opponents. But you know, we we need to get ourselves in, get ourselves in tomorrow. Watch the video of the game, play it back to them, and say this isn't good enough. This is completely the opposite of what we need to be doing. Yeah. We need to be, you know, we need to be tighter at the back. We need to stop making stupid mistakes. We need to get our passing right, and we just need to play with more positivity. You know, something's yeah. got to happen between now and Tuesday. Something's got to happen because if we lose oh, Tuesday, it's as simple as that. It. It's as simple as that, mate. I've I've already said to other lads who have sports us as in that in this period. I know they've not got a long time, but they've got to work on. I mean, it just like even set pieces that 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 just don't seem to have been worked on all season. That never mind just this short period. That is that is a big issue as well, but. Listen, we're yeah. going to get that sorted and, uh, you know, fingers crossed that uh, we can pick ourselves up. But uh, I, I will, I mean, touch wood, it don't happen. But Tuesday, if we don't get a result, I will be, uh, I think it back in my head, it will be coming, becoming more realistic that as chances are very, very slim. So, all right then, Dave. Well, uh, thanks for coming on and I'll speak to you over Facebook, I'm sure I will. Uh, about uh, stuff, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, onwards and upwards, isn't it? Yeah, bring on, bring on Luton Tuesday, see what we can do. Yeah, that's it. All right then, mate. Well, I'll speak to you later. All right. Stay safe, buddy. Yeah, same to you, mate. Bye.